All right, well, here I have the Bushnell Prime 8 by 32 millimeters. I don't usually make videos like this, but when I was looking for a pair of binoculars, this one had some good reviews, uh, but I didn't see any unboxing videos of it, so I figured I might as well make one. I don't have a stand for my phone to record this though, so bear with me. I'm gonna take off the sticker here. Let's slide this off. There we go. <laughs> Alright. And if you're watching this video, you probably know what the numbers mean. The numbers I'm talking about are these two. Uh, I will go over them quickly anyway. The magnification is how much it will pull it in. So anything you see will be eight times bigger with these binoculars. And the 32 millimeters stands for the objective lens, which is the lens on the outside. Uh, and it shows, or it, it determines how uh, much light can get into the binoculars and therefore how light the image will be. So if you have a larger lens on the outside, which I will also now show, if you have a, yeah, so these are the ones you look through and these are the objective lenses. And if these are bigger, you will have more light, but it will also be heavier and larger because it's a bigger binocular, of course. A nice little card in here. I'll show both sides. There it is. It comes in this pretty quality feeling case. So let's see. There's another booklet here. And let's get to the binoculars themselves. There it goes. Okay, let me unpack this and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, and there it is. Right off the bat, it feels very quality. It's quite heavy for its size. Let me give you an idea of how big it is. I have a coffee mug right here and if I put it next to it, you can see the relative size. I'm just showing you the, the arounds. Here are the lens caps that are actually attached to them. So you can take these off. Let me do it with two hands. There we go. I think you can. Yeah, so there it is. So if I give it a look outside of my window here. A little bit difficult to do it with one hand and the camera but it's actually surprisingly easy relatively seems to be very clear view that's awesome because this is what we're looking at so if we put up the binoculars again you can see that it pulls it a lot closer. All right. So what else is included? These were on the uh, eye caps on the front side. I keep forgetting, it's the eye cups. Yeah, there you go. So these were to protect the eye cups. I don't think I will be bringing this with me on the trips because the binoculars will be in the, in the pouch it came with. And then there's this one, and this is a neck strap. Feels pretty light, but it feels pretty strong too. And you can attach them to the binoculars with these little straps, and these straps actually detach if you press them in. Well, you understand what I mean. I will show you after this. Um, 
So that's actually pretty nice. So you can have it on your neck. I think this one, yeah, it also has a strap on the back and you can run your belt through here so you can actually attach it to your hip. So you always have it with you. And some of the other features, as you can see in the instructions, but, but this one you can, of course, you can bend it to fit your eyes better. And you can turn the knob to focus. And you can also, on the right cup, and you should read the instructions for this for more detail, but you can twist this one. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but you can twist this one. Uh, and if you follow the steps that they give, I think they describe it here. Right, yeah, so first you look to the left side of the binoculars with one eye and you adjust the big knob until it comes into focus. Then afterwards you look for the right one. You don't touch the big button anymore and you only turn this ring around the right one and that way you uh, make sure both of your eyes are perfectly in focus when you turn this knob. So basically this is to tweak, to calibrate the binoculars to your eyes. And I think that's about it. I got this for a trip to Japan I will be doing next month. Uh, and I've never actually had any binoculars, but I felt that it would be nice if I could just look towards a view. I'm going to do it again here. Look towards a view and just see some more detail. I have been, I should be finding it soon. There we go. Apologies for all the light flashing, it's my phone that is not obviously not used to this. This is a little bit better, there you go. So you can actually see a lot of detail with these. You can almost count the leaves on there. Yeah, this is great. This is not the most interesting view, obviously, but if you could, you can see it here. It's a pretty nice magnification. So that's about it. It's a simple package, but it has everything you need. And especially I like this pouch. Uh, makes it nice to be able to protect it. And I'll show it from this side also, by the way. So you can see here, the lenses. And of course, if you put them the other way, you will see it like this. And this is more of a gimmick, of course, to show it this way, because that's not how you're gonna use it, but that doesn't actually matter. Okay, so here's one last overview of the entire package. This is the uh, neck cord that's included, and it's attached now, as you can see here. You just run it through this place there, and it attaches itself. And you can still uh, clip it loose if you want, and then you can use it with or without. I find it quite comfortable when I'm wearing it. It's uh, quite soft, so that's very nice. I also found out, I forgot about this, there's a small pouch included with a uh, microfiber cloth in there so you can actually clean the lenses and you can actually get this all the way out like as you can see here it is attached to the pouch uh, but you can still use it uh, to clean the lenses and they did say to never use any other sort of uh, cloth not even your t-shirt or even paper towels because they could at some point ruin the lenses if you use them and always be sure that there's no sand or any other dirt on here. Because if you, even if you use this cloth on the lens and there's a piece of dirt or sand in there, it, you will just scratch it with the sand. So do be careful. Uh, yeah, so this is the thing that I'll probably take off. The binoculars themselves one more time. Oh, with the lens caps on. I've uh, been practicing uh, to use them a little bit. It's slightly tricky to get the uh, to get the uh, view to be stable because as you're using it and your arms get slightly tired, you will wobble a little bit, and every wobble will be magnified eight times. But I found that it's actually if you hold it like this, this is the way I like to hold it. Um, it's actually pretty comfortable. And I think I've never used a binocular, so it's probably just inexperience. And after some time, I will get a hang, hang of it. Uh, the image quality, it's now 6 p.m. in the Netherlands. 
uh, and it's still quite light out as you can see and the image quality the brightness is perfect i was thinking about going for an 8 by 42 of the same uh, of the same line so also the prime but i'm very glad i went with this one because this one is heavier than i anticipated to be honest still very comfortable but the 42 one would be a lot bigger and therefore heavier and take up more space in my bag so that's that would not have been a good idea and this is the the pouch again so yeah this is the entire set the neck cord the binoculars the pouch uh, and then the microfiber cloth